Hello and welcome to the section 3 of the course Network Reconnaissance with Python. Now in this section we are going to take a look at various points. First of all we will learn about how to build a port scanner, then how to perform TCP scan, then how to perform banner grabbing or operating system detection, and finally how to integrate and map port scanner inside it. So let's start with the first video of section 3, building a port scanner. Now in this video we are going to take a look at a couple of points. First of all about the port scanner and then I will provide you an example to create a basic port scanner. So to learn about port scanner, let me show you how port scanner works. So open Kali Linux operating system and there I am going to provide you a basic information about port scan. And then later, I will provide you information that how you can create your port scanner with inside Python. So guys, I'm here at Kali Linux operating system. So first of all, uh, let me give you a basic information about port scanner. So if you click on applications, there are various tools available inside Kali Linux, right? So inside Kali Linux, uh, there are various kind of port scanners available like uh, Nmap. So Nmap is the port scanner uh, which is widely known and it is the most powerful port scanner. So if you click on applications, if you select information gathering, then Nmap is available right here. So click here and uh, open the command line of Kali Linux operating system where we can learn about port scanner. So here it is. Let me zoom it for you. Let me clear it. So now, uh, if I talk about uh, finding open ports about the target system, so what is the use of it? The use of finding open ports is that uh, attacker can take advantage of these open ports. Attacker can uh, simply uh, hack or attack on these ports to get access to the network, right? That's why. Port scanning is really important in the phase of uh, you can say reconnaissance or scanning, right? Now, how Kali Linux actually performs port scanning? Let me show you using Nmap tool. So, for example, if the website is www.volnweb.com, it is a sample website provided by Acunetix company, so we can use it for testing purpose, right? So, for example, finding ports about a website, so you can type here Nmap space www.worldweb.com or you can say i'm find, trying to find open ports about the server you can also type uh, ip address here about any system to find out open ports so nmap is the command and this is the website or you can say server dash f why i'm using dash capital f dash capital f is showing fast scan or quick scan so i want a quick scan with nmap to find out uh, open ports with this server now you can hit enter and uh, now it is trying to gather information about open ports so you can see here that uh, first of all it has provided you information about host is up and then it has provided you information about open ports that uh, these are the open ports available in the website 21, 22, 25, 2, 53, 80, 106, 10, and 8 till 8443. So these all are the ports available inside it, which are open. Now, our task is that basically in Kali Linux, these are pre-installed uh, tools are available here. So can we use a Python program to create a basic port scanner inside PyCharm or not? that we are going to learn. So this is about port scanner introduction, right? I hope you have learned that how Nmap works. So you can close it and now you can go back to your Windows 10 machine where PyCharm is working. And let me show you that how the program works. So guys, uh, I'm here at Windows 10 machine and inside PyCharm, I have a code. So this is my code and uh, Using this code, we can create a port scanner, a basic port scanner inside Python, right? This is the code and uh, you will get this code in the code files, which is attached. So let me explain you the code here. So this is import socket. Again, we are using socket programming, right? 
and uh, now you can see ask for input first of all we will ask the user that uh, please provide us the ip address or the website name uh, which you want to scan so we are taking input here right print a nice banner with information this is a kind of designing here we are not going into more designing now for port in range so it is checking port number one two port number is one zero two five it will try to check that which ports are open in the range of one two one zero two five all right and now here it is uh basically trying to find out information that uh, how much time it took to find the open ports right so this is about time this is the main information about uh, finding open ports got it and uh, these are the basically you can say library or files which the programming is using inside it so using these libraries basically they are trying to find out information about uh, port numbers right now how it works so you can right click here you can click run file click here and uh, here you can see that in the output it is asking that enter a remote host to scan so you need to provide any ip address or website name so that it will provide you information about open ports for example i'm taking a sample website so www.wellnewweb.com similarly we have done with the nmap in kali linux so we can also do it right here with our python code www.volnaweb.com right and uh, after that hit enter now you can see it is asking that please wait scanning remote host and uh, this is the ip address here all right so it has not provided us any port number so it is processing and very soon it will provide us the port number here that uh, which are open on the server of uh, volnaweb.com so here it is you can see here that it has started scanning the port number so it is saying that port 21 is open port 22 is open port 25 open and it will provide you all the list of 20 to 25 port numbers which we have seen in nmap right so you can see here that the program is working got it you can see the program is working properly and uh, using this program we can simply create port scanner and it will work like this so you can also use the same code as we have attached the code files got it so this is the process to build a basic port scanner with python